Hi there and welcome to this product demonstration with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com In this demonstration we're going to be showing you the very exciting swim wand. Uh, it's an underwater camera plus versatile actual sports camera that you can take absolutely anywhere. It comes like this. Any coach can take it to any pool at any time and get the maximum results for each swimmer. Uh, and they can even take it to the track and the video of their runners or they can put it on their bike and video a biking session. From experience, we know that anything that's complex is not going to be used by a coach. So, how easy is it to put together a swim wand? Well, we think it's exceptionally easy. First thing that we do is just open up all of the divisions and just extend it slowly. Because you'll see there's various calipers that run off the bottom. And we want the cable to run through those exceptionally smoothly. This just loosens them off a touch and that makes it easier to run through. Um, you can see we're just waving there. Okay, so once we've done that, the next thing we want to do is just remove the head of the swim wand itself and we'll go to the unit and extend it. You can see there's one cable from camera to end. Just make sure that's straight, lay it down, turn the unit over, get the screw end of the wand head and screw it into the unit. Now this recording unit is quite sturdy, this should be tightened fairly solidly, it's a brass screw, just make sure you don't cross thread it as you do that. We're now going to just lay that down and take the wand itself. And these are easy snap-in clasps and calipers that literally a few seconds and you've done them all. Once you've done those and it's running smoothly through, take the camera and you have a ridged section and on that ridge section you'll put through here, which also has ridges, that will actually hold it tight. So, there we go, that's in there. And we do have a three bars. The middle bar actually indicates that the unit is upright. And once that's upright, just take the elastic band, little elastic band, and connect it to the, to the ends, and that then makes that difficult to move whilst it's in operation. Everything's running smoothly through there, so we'll just make sure it is. There we go. Position the camera exactly as you want it. Um, that can be moved around to film from various angles. Take the head, open it up, and put it back in. That now is a swim wand, and all we need to do is extend it to whatever depth we want, and it's fully operational. Extending the wand to its full height really couldn't be any easier. You just undo the gates, and then do them up again to make sure it's solid, and in three simple steps, you have the wand at its full height, which is slightly taller than I am. Okay, so when you switch the unit on, you get either a blank screen like this, if you have the lens cap on, as we have now, or you'll actually see what is uh, going through the camera lens. And you can see various things here. This is the time left for the recording that we can possibly do with the uh, resolution we have. And the resolution we have is 1080p. That's full HD. Now, if we change that by hitting the right or left button, you see we go to 170p immediately, that's just about half resolution. And we've increased the time that we can record to 204.48 off the card we have in here. And we actually have an 8GB card in here, which is what the unit comes with. Let's reduce it again to WVGA, and that time goes up to 3 hours 28 and 7 seconds. Um, 3 hours 28 and 7 seconds is a lot. You might think WVGA might be poor quality. Um, but it does actually record at 820 uh, by 420. Um, so it's not a small picture, and you can actually get quite a good resolution out of that. The difference between WVGA and 720 and 1080p is that 1080p and 720 record at 30 frames per second. You can choose other resolutions, but that's the fastest you'll get. Um, whereas WVGA will either record 
um, at 30, 25 or even 60 frames per second. Now at 60 frames per second you actually do get a very good slow motion image out of that so you can smooth out that slow motion especially if you're using it as a head cam or video cam at a running session. The other things in this window are the SD card um, symbol there which is what we're recording onto and the amount of battery that we have left. OK, so here we are in the home screen and we want to review a video in front of a swimmer. We've got a swimmer who we've just taken a video of and we think that would be useful. How do we do that? We just press this mode button and we come into a video screen that shows the videos we can actually play. We just navigate through these by going right and left. If I go left, I go back one, forward one, and forward again. Just want to go back one. This video here was taken at Aldershot, um, which is a very bright pool for videoing. It's exceptionally good. You get very good playback. Um, we'll just run this through. And you can see here comes a swimmer towards us. We're going to move with the swimmer perhaps a little bit. And there you go, as they come close, you can get a really good picture of what the video, of what the swimmer is actually doing. Um, and if we go into the up mode, once we're in, once we've stopped the video, these forward and backward buttons actually become forward one frame and back one frame. So if I go back one frame, you can see the swimmer's hand moving up, slowly but surely. And if I go forward, you can see the swimmer moving one frame at a time, so I can show them this very straight arm and they can understand what we're trying to do. There with this swimmer is the actual catch, whereas we'd like that a little bit earlier. Um, and you can see the swimmer driving through underneath not too badly. Second arm, again the elbow there just dropped a touch. Yeah, so the elbow there has dropped and we just want that kept high all the way through the stroke. And even though the swimmer gets back to a high elbow position, we'd like to alleviate that dropping of the elbow just there if we possibly can. Something we can show the swimmer immediately. To get back to uh, ordinary mode, just press down and we're choosing videos once again. When you're finished filming, you can either just tap the wand down to its smallest level. and literally walk out with it like that um, or you can unpack it and put it back in its case again for more security that's completely up to you but if you have a wand like that you can literally take it to any session that you want remember you can use it either at the pool or you can use it at the track or on your bike okay so there you have it the swim wand high definition remember you can use it as a head cam as a sports cam and even take it to the track and film in 60 frames per second which will smooth out that footfall and really help you help your clients and club mates to their maximum effect and really improve their overall triathlon experience if you're a triathlon coach. We think it's the best value for money at £450 that a coach can spend. If you need to know any more please give us a call or an email. If you want to order one, just order one from the website and we'll dispatch to you just as soon as we can. Well, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon.